So this is a quick video, uh, since I didn't really have time to do a full stream on this printer, but this is the Tina 2. And if you guys remember, my lead screw coupler was completely stretched out. This is how it came. So I took this off by unscrewing the four set screws here. There's two on the top, two on the bottom. And to get the actual lead screw out, you have to take the Z motor off, which is right here. And if you look on the top, you'll see there are the four screws. So basically you raise the gantry all the way up here. You unscrew those four screws and then drop it out the bottom, put the printer on its front, and then you can take the lead screw coupler off and put your new one on. So I'm using the ones we sell here. These are the plum style couplers that we use. And I've affixed this to the motor shaft already by tightening down, tightening down this bottom screw. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach this onto the lead screw here, push this all back up, put the four screws back in the motor and then reconnect the cable. So it's a pretty easy swap. The alternative to taking the motor out is unclipping like eight clips on the top to remove the top plastic housing so you can get the lead screw up because you cannot actually get the coupler off unless you either drop the motor or you take the top off because there's not enough room. So hopefully this helps anybody out with the Tina 2 or these are also known as the Monoprice Cadet. Um, also, I'm going to be removing the Wi-Fi module from this, because this is not going to be used as a Wi-Fi unit, but we can just take the screw out here and take this module out, and I'll probably also remove this cable um, that feeds it, but you can also just disconnect it like I've done if you're not gonna use it, if you're using our firmware on it. So anyways, just wanted to post this little quick tip up here about the Z screw, or the lead screw coupler replacement on this printer, because it's not very straightforward, and I think just taking the motor out here is the quickest way because then we can put this back in screw it back all together and we're good to go so there we go hopefully this helps somebody out